Well, if you the big whips and you never get sick of nose really clips, then I have got a present for you. It's a video blog from Mr. BQ. Do yourself a favor and tune in to his YouTube. Oh, she is looking so good. The 365 MX gear shoot for the June release is tomorrow, and I figure I better freshen this baby up a little bit. So, people always ask me all the time, how do you turn your pipe blue, Brett? What do you do to it? How do you make that happen? So, I just got a new Yosh pipe, and I'm gonna show you guys. Riley, you gonna teach me how to turn their pipe blue? What do you think? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. So I haven't used the Yosh pipe in a while. It's been probably 2010 or 11, but they've always been really good pipes. I've used them in the past before that, and they were uh, they were awesome pipes. So I got another one, and I'm really excited to try it on my new Honda. See what Ken rocks and raves about on these things. I spent a little time last night turning this thing some different colors for you, so you kind of see and compare the difference. So I'm going to show you how to do this part. You get the buffing wheel and the drill. The mother's mag and aluminum polish is what I'm gonna use here, but usually I use a rouge stick because it makes it a little bit shinier, a little, a little bit more of a mirror finish. But I used it last night and it kind of it helped out the finish, but it's not what it could be with a rouge stick. So I'm gonna go over it again and kind of show you guys what I do, and then we're gonna turn it blue. And luckily I got my GoPro Hero 7 and my Dango Designs clip because otherwise I wouldn't be able to film it because I just got two hands. So there's a few things to watch whenever you're doing this. And obviously the first one is don't burn yourself because that's no fun. This thing's pretty hot. Even though you can't see it, it's pretty hot. So what I usually do is start at the welds because that's a little thicker and it's, it's a, a little bit easier to work like a section between. Um, you want to heat it evenly and not get it too hot in one spot before you move to the other because if you do that, then I'll show you here in a little bit that that color just never never comes back. So you want it to uh, be as even as possible. So I always, uh, like I said, try to start with the welds and just heat it even. <clears throat> and a lot of the times it's easier to do the outside whenever it's on the bike and you're not having to hold it. But the insides of the pipe, you can't really, uh, can't really do that because you don't want to burn your your engine stuff and your radiator hoses and all that so you just want to to go easy on it but like i said as even as possible see how it's starting to turn purple right there these these torches you can get for 20 30 bucks at lowe's and you don't need nothing super expensive or super fancy as long as it as long as it does the job and gets hot you're good See it's starting to turn brown there, a little crispy looking. This takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. So when you're doing this, it's not necessarily the more the more heat the better. Once you start it, it's going to turn a little bit brown, like crispy chocolate brown, and then after that, it's going to turn purple, and then it's going to turn blue. And after that, you're, you're back to the normal color that it came. And once it gets to that point, you're pretty much stuck. You're not turning it back to, to purple or blue. So I'm going to show you on this mid pipe here because you don't really see it and it's not too big of a deal to screw it up. So I'm going to screw up a little spot here. See how it's turned a little bit brown there? It's starting to turn purple. Once I... I go through purple and turn blue, it won't be long after that that it's back back to the normal titanium color. And then it won't it won't kind of won't come back to purple. See it's turned blue now. The way I've been told on these things 
I don't necessarily know. I know I've never had one turn back to to titanium color as I was ha as I had it on the bike. But if you get it hotter than it's ever going to be, then it's not gonna not gonna turn back. So that's why you don't necessarily get it hot enough because you're well, unless you're riding a Honda, then it breathes fire. But you don't really get it hot enough to turn this color, and then once it's on the bike, it should stay. See how it's kind of turned back to titanium in the middle there? That's something that's never going to turn back to, to purple or blue. Another thing is, people say that this makes it a little bit weaker, and that that uh, it won't have the strength, or it might be dent a little, dentable a little bit easier, but I've never had it happen, so... Once you got the pipe on the bike, it's a little bit easier because you're not having to worry about the air traveling up the pipe and getting your hands burnt and getting real hot. So on the bike's a little bit easier, but you want to be careful not to burn these radiator hoses because they are not fireproof. I've never done it, but I'm hoping that it doesn't happen. So I just, uh, I just try to do it same as before with a section at a time trying to point it away from the, let me get it back over here where, where it got a little bit more room for you to watch there, but try to do it in the, in the sections just the same as before. Try not to heat too much at once of the same spot because I don't want it to turn blue or, or turn it past blue where it's back to the normal color. See, it's the same as, same as I was saying over there with that. It's turning, turning brown and we're about to see it turn purple and then blue. See how that spot right there is trying to, starting to get blue? That's about as far as you want it to go because if you go any further than that, then you're gonna be back to the, the normal color that, that you started with. Another thing is once you ride it, it changes a little bit. Like it doesn't necessarily get worse or or better it just changes I think uh, the heat just goes to different places that you don't necessarily get it whenever you're you're torching and it just looks a little different so once you ride it'll change or if you don't ride and you just let your bike sit in the garage all the time and look at it and drool over it then that's kind of what I do and it stays the same all the time see this is why you do a lot of it off the bike too because if you want to do the insides of it and get the whole pipe, it's pretty much, it's pretty tough to do whenever you're, whenever you're just bolting it on and going for it. So that's why I do it off the bike for part of it. Now, just leave it on there for a little bit, let it cool off, and then I'm gonna put the cans on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta go inside and feed Riley. She's getting hungry. But if you have any questions or comments or anything, hit me up on Instagram or the YouTube comments. We will do our best to answer them. I say we like it's more than me, but I will do my best to answer them. Um, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a rock scientist, not a factory mechanic or anything like that, but luckily I know how to turn a pipe blue. So I hope I helped you out. I'm looking forward to trying this Yosh pipe on the track and I'm sure you will see a boatload of pictures because my bike's gonna look really good. So. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.